Hi friends, it's me, Mrs. Zerbel. How are you? So I'm preparing some videos so you can make some activity projects over your spring vacation. And the first one we're going to make is Peter Cottontail. Now you may know Peter Cottontail, right? Peter Cottontail comes hopping down the bunny trail. Now people like Peter Cottontail because he's a sign of spring and people are celebrating spring. People, other people, could be celebrating Easter. So if you're sp celebrating spring and spring vacation, or if you're celebrating Easter, you may want to make this Peter Cottontail. Okie dokie. All right. So let's talk about how to make him. All right. So he has some legs and a head and ears. And you can see he's make-believe because real cottontails, like the one in our story from Friday, they don't really wear clothes, right? All right, so this is what it looks like when it's finished. Let's talk about how to make him, all right? Okay, so first you wanna find this in your packet. It's part of Peter Cottontail and it has a little clip right here, okay? So take that off and give it to a grown-up, okay? Because little kids can get those, that's not safe. And you'll see there's two pages. See the two pages? This one has his head and his body. Uh huh. And this one has the ears and his legs. Now I wanna show you something. Do you see how the copy machine, the copy machine cut off his feet? So we're going to have to use a black crayon. And we're going to have to fix that. All right. So get your black crayon and let me get my clipboard that I use to hold up the paper so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So I'm going to put it on my clipboard like this. Now, get your black crayon. Okay, and watch what I do. I'm gonna make some bumps here, okay, to finish because rabbit feet are sort of like cat and dog feet. They have little bumps where their where their uh, their paws have little claws sticking out. So I'm gonna make some little bumps to finish. Watch this. Bump, bump, bump. I'm gonna go over to that one. See how I did that? You could stop the video and look at it. Okay, now let's do the other one. So I'm gonna make a little bump right here, then a bump, then another bump, and then I'm gonna go to that side. There you go, now stop the video and look how I finished those feet that were cut off by the copy machine. Okay, did you use your black crayon and fix it? Okay, that's the only part that got cut off by the copy machine. All right, so now what we're going to do, we have to color these. Let's look at the colors that I used. Decide on a fur color. If you know a lot about bunnies, rabbits, you know that some of them are white. So if you want to, I colored mine brown, light brown. But... If you want to leave your bunny white, you could. You could leave your bunny white. And then you could just color, could just color the jacket and the carrot and the bow tie and the eyes. Now I added pink. You can see pink to the nose and the mouth. Uh-huh. And I made my egg white. But if you make a white bunny, maybe you want to have a dyed Easter egg. That means an egg that's colored with coloring. Mm -hmm. So you can, you need to decide what color bunny do you want? Oh, inside the bunny's ears, it's pink. Okay, so let's stop, stop your video and let's color these two pieces. All right, stop your video. Okay. Did you color your two pieces? 
All right. I decided, of course, to make a brown one again because that's my favorite. So after you color it, it should look like this. There's the head. And see, I picked an eye color. And then in the middle, I put that. There's a middle little place to color. And I colored that black. Uh huh. And here are my legs and my ears. So now let's talk about what we need to put them together. All right. Scissors and a glue stick. Okay. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to cut this in half. Watch. Right along, right along this line of the top of the legs. Okay. Cut this in half. Remember, at any time, you can stop the video and you can complete the task if I'm going too fast. All right? Okay, now I'm going to cut the ears apart. Cut, 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 cut. Remember, when we're using scissors to put your thumb up top and we're cutting away from our body, okay? We don't cut in. That's not safe. All right. Let's cut out the ears. Here's my first ear. Cut, cut, cut. Now you see how I'm keeping my scissors? I'm keeping my scissors in the same place and I'm going to move my paper. Watch me move my paper. See how I move it? Move the paper. Move the paper. Move the paper. Oh, we turn it. This little ear bump. Move the paper. Move the paper. One ear. Put that in a safe place. All right, let's do the other ear now. Ready? If you're not done with your first ear, you can stop the video. All right, let's do the second ear. Here we go. I'm going to move the paper, move the paper. Turn the paper, turn the paper, turn the paper. And there I go. All righty. Okay. Now, his legs and feet. So I'm going to show you a trick to make this easy. Okay. If you're still cutting the ears, stop the video and then you can start it again. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to cut on this side around. All right. And be careful. Be careful. Very slowly. Okay. Make sure you cut out these bumps. Bump one, bump two, bump three. Now I'm going straight across. I'm not going up in that triangle right there. I'm just going to cut straight across. Here I go. I'm turning my paper, turning my paper, turning my paper, turning my paper. There I go. Now do you see this little place in the middle? Now I'm going to do that. But watch how I do it. I'm going to use a special trick. I'm going to first cut in this side right to this point, and then I'm going to stop. See? Now I'm going to go in from the other side. Mm -hmm. All the way up to where I stopped before. There I go. All right, so now I have the legs and I have the two ears. And I'm going to put those in a special place off to the side. Okay. Now, I'm going to cut out his head and his body. This is a big job. You may want to stop and rest before you cut it out. Are you ready? Okay. I'm going to start on this side and be really careful because there's a little piece of carrot right there. Don't cut off your little piece of carrot. Peter Cottontail loves those carrots. Uh -huh. And the story goes that Peter Cottontail would get in Farmer McGregor's garden. Mm -hmm. And he would take those carrots. He loved the carrots that were young and tender, not the old tough carrots. Yeah. 
probably like the ones that we put in carrots and ranch. That's pretty yummy. All right, now here's a little bit of hair and fur, not hair, fur on the top. I'm just going to go around those bumps. Here I go, going around, turning my paper, turning my paper. There we go, careful, careful. Now I'm coming down to the egg. So we're going to go around the egg, around the egg. Now, if you're still going around the head, stop the video and then start it again. Okay? All right. Here we go. I'm going to get the bottom of the jacket. It has some pointy areas. And here's the greens part. That's the plant part of the carrot that sticks out. It sticks out from the soil. And you know the carrot is down in the soil, right? You know what soil is. Soil is the dirt. Mm -hmm. Just like the enormous turnip, right? The turnip part and the carrot part are down in the dirt. All right, now we have our part. We have the body and head, and we have the two ears and the legs. Okay, so what we're going to do first is add the legs to the body. All right, so I'm going to turn them around backwards. Watch this. You can do this on a table. Here's the back. Here's the back of the pants. On a table with the back of the pants, get your glue stick out, okay? And then you're gonna go back and forth on the bottom right here. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Make sure you have a good glue line right there. Just right here, not all over, okay? All right, and now we're gonna take this part, okay? Okay. Uh-oh, I put the glue on the wrong part. I put the glue on the wrong side. Peas and carrots, cheeseburger. Don't worry, friends. I'm going to fix this. We just have to put the glue on the other side. Here we go. Nothing bad will happen. Observable. Got to pay attention. There we go. We'll put the glue on this side. Holy tomatoes, peas, and carrots. There's how it goes. You know, I'm a grown-up, but sometimes I make mistakes. Yeah. You know what I just learned? I better put it together without glue and see if it's going the right way. That's what I just learned just now. There we go. All right. Now it's a little stuck, but I have an idea. I'm going to take some paper on and put it on the back from my scraps. Let me go get some of my scraps. Remember how we use some scraps on the back of Roy G. Biv? I'm going to put those scraps right here on the back where I put glue on the wrong side. Watch me. Yeah. See how I did that? Yep. It's okay. Nothing bad will happen. We can fix it, right? Okay. All right, Mrs. Herbal. Hmm. What part am I doing next? The ears. Now, this is where you may want to experiment first because if you saw the movie Zootopia, you know, the bunny in there, her ears went down like this. Mm-hmm. So if you want your ears to go down, you can glue them on down. Maybe you want one down and one up. I like my bunny ears up. I have one with ears up. I think I'll glue this one with the ears down. Okay, so I'm going to practice before I glue this time. Yeah, so let's look at the back. 
See how I'm holding it on the back? So I figure out where I want my ear to go. Mm -hmm. You'll see there's a little dot right here on the eye. And there's a little dot right here on the ear. That's where it attaches. Okay. So put your glue on the back. This time it is the back. And put it on the other side. Let me show you what it looks like. See how I put that glue on? Right behind these little dots above the eyes. Okay. Now let's see. How do I want my ear to go? I want it to flop down. There it is. I like it. I think I'm going to make my other ear flop down too. Okay, let me line up my little dots. There I go. So this rabbit has his ears down. And this rabbit has his ears up. Remember, unlike your teacher, to position the paper first before you glue it on. Okay? All right. And remember, friends, after you make your project, this is what we do if we're in room six. On the back of your project, do you know what you need to write? Right. You can write your name and you can write the year 2021. All right. So, friends, mistakes and all. This is how to make Peter Cottontail, the Easter or springtime rabbit. I hope you have fun with this project. I hope you're having fun over your vacation, too. Bye, friends. See you next time.